great delight to introduce you to Sea Ranger. This is Witherby's new oceanographic research vessel. Uh, a quick bit about the vessel, uh, 78 meters long, three and a half thousand tons displacement, uh, 18 millimeter uh, steel hull, was ice classed, main engines 8,800 horsepower. Uh, this is quite an incredible vessel, uh, fuel capacity 1.2 million liters and a nominal range of 31,000 miles. Exactly the kind of vessel that Witherbiz is looking for from 2026 going forward uh, to support all its research and uh, technical operational work in the future. Quite an exciting day. Standing here, as you can probably tell, in Turkish Straits, a place well known to us through our work on the Witherbiz Passage Planning Guide to the Turkish Straits. But that's not why I'm here today. I'm here for a very exciting reason that we're just waiting tow vessel to come down from Constanta with a tug in attendance, towing a very, very special vessel, Witherby Publishing's new research ship, Sea Ranger. Let's go on board and we'll learn a little bit more about Sea Ranger. When this vessel entered service in the 1970s, she was one of the world's largest and most powerful salvage tugs. She was designed to remain at sea for up to 100 days at a time in the harsh waters in the North Atlantic. And with a fuel capacity of over 1.2 million litres, this gives Sea Ranger a potential range of greater than 30,000 nautical miles. With a large beam of 13 metres, a deep draft of 7 metres, and a nice strengthened hull that's 18 millimetre thick, this really is the ideal research explorer vessel. It's perhaps not surprising that Sea Ranger has previously worked as a research vessel, having previously worked for four years for the Schmidt Oceanographic Research Institute. Sea Ranger has already been to most areas of the planet and even as far south as Antarctica. If we take the Witherby Z-Book platform, Witherby Connect, it's already on board more than 40,000 ships, building on more than 25 years of experience in the maritime sector. Witherby Connect is being used daily to access, manage and refer to all the world's leading operational technical guidance in support of our operations on board. And our own safety management system will provide further insights that will help how Witherby Connect will continue to evolve effectively. One example of such development is paving the way for the delivery of the next generation of computer-based training. Whether it's CBT from Witherby's or actually our industry partners, there will be a strong emphasis on demonstrating compliance without overly complicated learning management systems or dated CBT that no longer appealing or realistically fit for purpose. We're currently in Bitter Lake and there are ships all around us and uh, it's, it's a very exciting thing to see. Um, I'm on this trip specifically because we are going to publish a guide to the Suez Canal for seafarers and by that I mean specifically for bridge teams so that the bridge team has a document that they can sit and look at together uh, ahead of a transit. So obviously, um, ICTAS uh, 2012 was a challenge. With S100 coming in, it's going to be an even tougher challenge for the hydrographic offices, ships officers, and anyone connected with updating charts. Supporting the transition to ICTAS has been a focus for Witherby's in helping industry make the switch from paper-based to ENC-based charts over the last 15 years. 
Witherbys will be there to help ships' crews actually understand the latest developments in S100, what it actually means, what they actually really do have to know as this phase-in approaches over the coming years. While it's obvious that Sea Ranger was designed for remaining in communication wherever she was sailing in the world, the next phases of maritime communications and the vast increases in bandwidth and connection speed also serve to accelerate cyber threats to shipping. With a strong portfolio of security guidelines with industry partners such as ICS and BIMCO, we will see these titles operating in practice in a daily basis on board Sea Ranger particularly in areas such as cybersecurity. Protecting the environment after the safety of the crew, ship and cargo is one of the three main goals of the ISM code. Environmental considerations and MARPOL are today at the forefront of almost all CAPEX decisions in shipping. Energy efficiency, fuel economy and optimising all shipboard operations are all key areas that will be explored on board with the new research vessel. Whether it be MARPOL Tier 3 or environmental considerations such as ballast water, biofouling or keeping a pace with the documented evidence that a vessel has to satisfy in support of ISM and related inspections and documented evidence, port state control and flag state, these are all areas we will look to explore and look to improve the burden for ship's crews. As one of the crews said at Smoko on board and Sea Ranger, we're doing things for real, not just a tick box checklist exercise.